Hello MechWarriors, how is it going? Welcome to your daily dose of MechWarrior Online. Today we are playing the Boiler, guys, because the Boiler got something new from PGI, and that is a quirk, a very interesting quirk. It has an Ultra Auto Cannon 20 HSL plus one. Now, what does it mean? Uh, normally, Ultra Auto Cannon 20s are considered to be so strong that PGI doesn't allow you to fire two at the same time, um, not with getting a heat penalty. And the Boiler just uh, can fire two at the same time because it has a heat scale limit plus one means that you can you know normally fire only one without heat penalty and that heat scale limit plus one says that you can fire now two without heat penalty and that is great you have 80 damage burst when you double tap those ultra auto cannons we put some srm6s on top of that so that we have a 76 damage base and then 40 on top of that it's 116 base burst damage if you double tap if your auto cannons don't jam and if you shoot the srms on top of that which is ridiculous guys you have so much burst and you can easily cripple an enemy if not destroy it if it's standing still and uh, that's what we are doing today guys so ultra auto cannon 20 it is and we have the biggest anti that we could take because we want to get to the front line as quickly as possible we have maxed out armor we have um you will see me playing with uh, only six tons in the in the games uh six tons of auto cannon ammo but i figured a seventh ton would be better therefore i was uh, putting one into the mech afterwards just to optimize the build a bit more we also have one jump jet for a baseline of mobility don't get me wrong this isn't for pop darting this is just getting over obstacles getting over uh, some kind of ridges when you really want to get into to the fight and you are kind of blocked by terrain then you have the jump jet that single one that really helps you out rest is just a bunch of heat sinks but it's not not much let me tell you that guys it is just not much the mech will run crazily hard so pick your engagements wisely if you have a single target go for it if you have two targets eh, maybe if you have more than two don't do it because um you will run so hard unless you have teammates around then you can do it because then you can fall back cool down come into the fight again and uh, keep shooting we also have some skills here so let's take a look at that as uh, per usual i'm going for magazine capacity and the uac jam duration notes i'm not bothering with the srm so much instead i wanted heat gen and velocity that really helps getting the damage on point and getting us a bit more sustain and longevity during the fights we also are a close range build we are a brawler i wanted to say broiler the brawling boiler um so we are almost maxing out survivability i was skipping three of those nodes because um i valued heat gen more than those skeletal density thingies um no mobility no jump jets here but full cool run and uh, then rated deprivation plus the value point in consumables i don't know if rated deprivation is really necessary so that's the thing i, I was very hesitant when i build it when i was building that so if you like you could also do something like this Go for UAV, double cool shot, and then invest the last points into this here. More skeletal density and then that value point in uh, maybe velocity, maybe cooldown. It depends on your choice. You could also go for something like high explosive if you like. But uh, yeah, that's absolutely up to you. And uh, yeah, that's the build basically. So I wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming. And if you have that, then don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And now it's time to hit the battlefield. All right, the first game of the day. We are playing HPG Manifold and we are playing... Oh, Skirmish. Uh, that means we should show no mercy. At least that's what the voice in my head just said. Uh, I still don't know what mercy is. Uh, I believe it's that hot college girl that you never get to date. Um, because you, you shouldn't show her. I mean, that's, that's what the voice in my head just said. Let's go ahead and uh, kill some enemies, guys. We have a lot of bursts. A lot of bursts. And when I say a lot, I mean a lot. A metric shit ton of burst. And uh, we also don't have that much heat management. So we go in, we just say burst, burst, burst. Cool, cool, cool. Burst, burst, burst. That's what we do. Um, taking top, taking top, taking top. And kill, kill, kill. Okay. Uh, come on, don't block me. Don't block. I'm not done with that guy yet. Oh my god, look at this. <laughs> okay, push over. Push over, there's a Warhammer. Uh, and I'm hot. I'm gonna use my cool shot already. And see? We destroyed his side door, so like that. <laughs> I mean, uh, we are pretty, again, hot ish. But it's fine. It's fine. We got a kill. That's good. 
<laughs> and now we need to cool. Because we don't have any cool shots anymore. And I got a lot of damage already. And that to my good side, to my left side. Guys, this is a very, uh, very rare occasion where you should really uh, twist with your right side. Usually you twist with your left because your right side is filled with stuff so that you can uh, compete in the NASCAR a bit more so that you can peek around right side. More weapons on right means that, again, you can peek more reliable. Alright. Uh, at the moment we just, quote unquote, just shoot the ultras. <laughs> uh, push the Highlander, please. Uh, I will not shoot anymore, uh, because I wasn't sure if I could hit him, and uh, as a result I wanted to save the heat here. There's a UAV up, but I don't care. Why would we? Why would we care? Carrying is uh, not needed in this build. We, we wouldn't. And you kill? Okay, I'm Target. death from above! <laughs> Running into my <laughs> my friend's damage there. Oh, 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 oh. Oh man, I love those arms. We gotta turn around though. You want it? Yeah, you want it. Get the warhammer on top. Come on, please, India. Did we get a side? I don't know. I think so. Warhammer on top, India. And now we need to get the high ground again. Ooh, I have the feeling that the NASCAR killed us here. Um, but it is not over yet. It is over when it's over. Get the high ground, please. Light Mac, Osiris. Damn, I messed up my shot there. And I will die. Guys, share armor, please. I'm the only one on top. Please, come in. Okay, yeah, the team wasn't following up. Not really. I was the one on the front. But this point still stands. We will lose here, but that's fine. We will lose here. This thing just wrecks. If you let it. If you let it. So, uh, of course, with a bit better team cohesion and with my other half not dying completely on the other side of the battlefield. Um, honestly, I don't know why they went there in the first place, but okay. Um, if we were just more mixed together, if we would have protected each other better, then... Uh, I think we could have survived that and we could have even pumped out more damage and that was just 700 with no problem. <laughs> okay, so again, we uh, have lost this, but again, I just wanted to show you what the thing could do. And I think you, you get a glimpse of what it can do. So let's see if the next game is going to be better, if we can actually win that. Um, this game we lost because, uh, because we are split. We were horribly split. Right, it's okay. Let's see. We had uh, one killing blow. We got three kill assist. We got two kill most damage dealt and 728 damage done with 10 components destroyed. And that only with such a short amount of battlefield time. Guys, so let's go over to the next game and see how this will go down. All right, second game of the day. We are playing skirmish on ooh, the Crimson Strait. And I want to go to the title, honestly. I want to stay there and shoot some people. Ooh, nice kill. Nice kill. Nice early kill. That was very valuable. Good job, Dan. All right, um, I'm going to the tunnel and I'm gonna defend that there. I really hope that my people will come as well as per usual, because alone I cannot do so much, but together we are strong. Uh, we have a local scouting, all right. Do I want to push in there? I mean, this locust gives us the information that, yeah, he is getting shot, okay. Um, let's just build a firing line here, I guess. No, wait, whoa, 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 whoa Dow breaker. Oh, the Dow breaker is pushing. And that's, uh, I think, a little bit too eager. Okay, guys, we are pushing tunnel. Can you follow up? Also, share armor if needed. That means pushing forward when we get too much damage on the front line. And in that case, you should, by the way, not be afraid. Let's go. Instant jams here, but that's okay. Some SRMs. Okay, I'm gonna take a break here. Come on. Okay, that's fine. Okay, we dealt some damage. Uh, I didn't want to push all of them there. I thought it was a bit too much for me alone. However, we can probably destroy that that uh, doggo. I'm the only one here, so I can pull back. Don't want to risk blocking anybody, of course, while the fight is happening there. I'm pushing out side entrance, guys. Side entrance. Anybody with me? We got some missile bolts here. Good damage there. That's a stalker. All right, guys, side entrance, let's go. Uh, we have a stalker, he's LRM, I believe. Uh, yeah, it's LRM. And, oh wait, heavy PPC. Ooh, I think that was the demise of our light mech there. Alright, that's the cool shot. Kill the stalker, please. Okay, we got that guy. Now it's time to pull back a bit. I need cooling. I need cooling. Uh, are you coming up? Mm, yes, you are. So before I go in again... That Vulcan. Before I go in again, I um, we need to cool down. Guys, can we make a push forward? Uh, we are in a bad position. Let's get the high ground. Let's uh, dive down into the city. All right, here we go. Sorry. Going into the city. Uh, still pretty hot. But we have some enemies around that we can easily shoot. 
For example, that Hunchback. For example, that mm, Warhammer there. A bit afraid of the left side. That was the Mad Dog from earlier. Can we? No, we are out of range there. Uh, I'm actually on top already. The Grasshopper shut down in the back. He's dead now. 25% of the auto cannon ammo remaining, so I should use my SRMs more. Uh, also, what's going on there? That was the Incubus. Wow, that thing takes so much damage without dying. Alright. Ah, oh, alright, somebody got him before I could shoot him down. Is that an enemy? It was an enemy. Alright. Ah, oh, what a game! So good! Uh, I have the low signal here, so we should have a light mech around. Popping that UAV it makes sense. I'll pop let's, into the tunnel. Let's see if we can find that guy. Yeah, he probably took off to the tunnel. Uh, might be that he, we can intercept if him on the side entrance. Tunnel's clear. Is that a guy on top? Oh, please don't be a don't be a hill sniper. That that would drag out the game so so much. We have two enemies still alive, guys. One of which has an ECM. I think it's a light mech. I saw a flea earlier, and I don't think that we destroyed it yet. Um, it is the flea up there. Sure. Okay, there's one on top of the platform. Okay, copy that. That's but fine. where's the other guy? Now that's the question. Is it a disconnect? Is it an AFK? Or... Okay, nice kill. Or... Is it something else that we didn't see yet? Might be another light mag. What did you kill? Where did you kill it? Was it a flea? So there's a guy on the bottom. Yeah, the bottom of the platform in Echo 5. It's a flea. He's running over to the saddle now. Yeah, he's trying to get high ground Echo 6. Okay, so this guy is doing some hit and run shenanigans, and honestly, oh, he's coming back. Okay, I wanted to say I could try to intercept him. I'm pretty low on ammo, though. Yeah, that was great. Goodbye. Woo! Hmm. Well yeah, kind of worked, I guess. Kind of worked. I did uh, a little bit of a slower approach here because um, there were too many enemies to choose from, and. Um, I needed to manage my heat to actually face them there. Nonetheless, we got three killing blows, we got three assists, no, eight assists and three kill most damage dealt, with 607 damage done and five components destroyed. It's your daily dose for today, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, then don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you want to support me, go down below to the description, there is the link to my Patreon page, and I hope to see you guys on the battlefield. Goodbye.